Now we talk, to, uh, talk a lot about devotion. How do you feel that when we talk about devotion? Because devotion is the heart of the Guru Yoga practice, right? In fact, it is the very practice itself. So I'm not so sure how much you have a devotion, how much you have a feed, uh, how much you understand Bhamma Sambhava. Um, <clears throat> But I think you have uh, some devotion um, because you like practice Guru Yoga. Devotion is the essence of Guru Yoga. So in Guru Yoga practice, without devotion, the understanding of the nature of mind is impossible. Uh, you think you think you understand nature mind uh, without devotion. That's a wrong view. Make sure you understand that. Uh, if you have a devotion, then uh, naturally you understand nature mind. Um, that's the right view. And <clears throat> with devotion, all the novel qualities of the path to enlightenment will grow because of the, uh, the, uh, the, the essence of Guru Yoga. Uh, but, you know, as beginners in general, we may find that our faith and devotion are not spontaneous. And so at first it is important to uh, generate that feeling actively over and over again, you know. To do this, we call to mind the, the qualities of the, of the guru especially his kindness in leading us out of samsara and in granting us his profound instructions to help us remember that kindness. We visualize him, you know, uh, our head and pray to him uh, with sort of intense devotion. And as a result, our devotion will gradually be sort of transformed into spontaneous and continuous one. So that's how we sort of uh, practice on devotion. Consider that outwardly, the Guru is the union of the three jewels. His body is, let's for instance, Guru Rinpoche, so body is the Sangha. His, uh, his uh, teaching, the Dharma, the, 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 the speech is the, is the Dharma. And his uh, wisdom, uh, the omniscient mind, is the Buddha. Uh, that's outwardly. Inwardly, uh, he embodies uh, the, the three roots. Uh, his body is the Guru. His uh, speech, Dharma, is the Yadam, the deity, and his mind is the um, Kandu, we call the, the Dakinis. That's three roots, right? And secretly, the Guru is the union of the three Kayas. His body is the Nirmana Kaya, his speech is the Samboga Kaya, his mind is the Dharma Kaya. So if you practice Guru Yoga, Actually, you practice everything. So the Guru is also the union of all deities. In, in one tantra, it says, uh, better than meditating on hundred thousand deities for so many times is to think about, think of your Guru for a single instant. Therefore, to understand of the nature of mind is possibly only through faithful devotion and the practice of Guru Yoga. No other method will sort of work. Jingmi Langba, 
you know, right? Jingmei Langba is the uh, Longchenpa student, the most important one. Jingmei Langba says, when I read the Longchenpa's teaching, which is his root teacher, I developed a genuine faith that made me sort of perceive him as a real Buddha. That's how we, uh, how we investigate our teacher. That's exactly what you also do, right? When you become a Buddhist, first you investigate Buddha's teachings. Then you think, oh, he's the really good teacher. You understand through his teaching that Buddha is a great teacher. That is the devotion, how you develop your devotion. He said, I can take refuge from him because he only he can show this secret path that makes you sort of, you know, uh, everything is work and shows the, the enlightenment. So, you know, then you Because, you know, of the understanding about, uh, like Jigme Langba says, you know, his understanding about Longchenpa and uh, tremendously, you know, his devotion is, you know, um, then prayers and uh, practice about him as a guru. Um, and then, you know, with, with great devotion, then, then that's it. That's your guru yoga. So if we can pray with devotion to Guru Rinpoche, he will remove, actually, all the obstacles and enable us to progress along the path. That means, you understand, that means Guru Rinpoche, you practice, you, will, uh, you, you can uh, actually examine, you practice Guru Yoga and um, maybe like, you know, a year, maybe a month, uh, you can see how much change. Um, that's what we call it. Otherwise, Guru Rinpoche come and sort of wash and take away your defilements. Not that means, right? You practice Guru Rinpoche and uh, I will say he will remove your uh, the defilements, that means you practice Guru Yoga, you will understand more and calm sort of your, your compassion and all these qualities increase. That means Guru Rinpoche calm. We say that, you know, Guru Rinpoche helps you take away, I mean, remove your uh, obstacles. Understand? Maybe you can see, I mean, the root teacher, uh, uh, it's not my really root teacher in the monastery, in my monastery, in, uh, in my monastery, great teacher. And he saw three times Guru Rinpoche. So it's possible physically you can see actually if you practice with devotion Guru Rinpoche. Physically you can see with your eye, ordinary eyes. And then more and more you practice, you can talk with him, actually. I mean, that's happened, uh, that's happened a lot in Tibet because of the practice all, always, right? Everything is impossible. I mean, impossible. Everything is possible. <laughs> Everything is the cause and conditions. You know, <clears throat> you have that cause and conditions, then it is possible that you can talk with him, you can see him, you can ask him. Possible. Interdependent, arising, emptiness. Because of everything is possible because of that. Because of the cause and conditions. So, all Buddhas have the same compassion. 
and the same love for sentient beings. But especially Guru Rinpoche has for countless times made powerful prayers to the benefit of the, the living beings of this uh, difficult time. Right now we have, we, we are actually uh, very fortunate, but also very difficult time we are. This uh, 21st century is difficult, very difficult than, you know, the Buddha's time. People are more uh, sort of uh, touched to everything. People have more afflictions. Um, that's why Pama Sambhava say, you know, um, this time, he said, if you practice about him, that's the, his motivation. Difficult time, he will help. There's many, what do you call it? You, you watched that movie, right? Iron, Iron Bird Fly. 2,000 years, he, he said that. It's happening now. So that kind of, what do you call it? Redemption? No. Oh, no. Pro prophecy. prophecy. <laughs> Lots of prophecy you can read. I, I, I don't know if it's uh, translated into English or not, but you can read that kind of prophecy. It's right now happening, you know. So that's why he said this, the 21st time is actually a difficult situation, difficult time. So we have to practice about him. Because that's, he knows that if you practice this time, this, this, when this time you practice Guru Rinpoche, he will move uh, obstacles, your obstacles. So, if you want to practice Dzogchen, then you have to practice Guru Yoga with the, the, the seven line prayer, and it is Guru Yoga, and it's about Guru Rinpoche, actually. So the Dzogchen teaching are transmitted in three ways. First is from mind to mind. And second is by signs. And third is through oral, oral um, transmission. So in the first, the mind to mind transmission, there is no need for symbols or words uh, as the teacher and the student are by their very nature one. This is the way uh, in which the transmission was given from the primordial Buddha, uh, Samanda Bhatta, to Bhadrasattva, and then from Bhadrasattva to Garbdorji. Um, we have that, uh, that, uh, that picture here, right? That's our lineage, you know. Uh, you know, first the, Bajras, uh, the <coughs> Samanda Bhatta, and then then the uh, um, Bajrasafa, then Garab Dorji. After Garab Dorji, the transmission uh, continue with the uh, Manjushri, and then Shira Sangha, all here, Jana Sutta. These are our lineage. And then uh, Bhamala Mata. And then the, the second the transmission was Effected simply by sort of signs, by mutras, or by symbolic uh, trends, saying. So when the master gives transmission in this way, the the disciples understand its meaning at one um, once and uh, achieve complete realization of the three categories of dzogchen. Mind, space, and pit instructions. Second. And then third, the oral transmission was passed from, you know, uh, one individual to another, right? Uh, beginning with uh, Guru Rinpoche, and he gave uh, this transmission, oral transmission, his disciples, the, the 25, what do you call it, main disciples, Guru Rinpoche's, and also Guru Rinpoche's three main disciples were uh, Ken Tson Debsen, uh, uh, Tibetan Ken, 
uh, he invites to Guru Rinpoche and he gives these oral instructions. And then Birojana and uh, also Pama Sambhava, his concert, Yishin Sorja. These are three his main uh, teach, uh, disciples. And then the, the transformation then continued up until the Longchenba, uh, from uh, whom it passed to great master Jigme Langba, and who transmitted these profound treasures to his disciples, Jigme Langbas. His, he has uh, four uh, principal disciples who were called <coughs> the four Jigmes, like Jigme, uh, Jigme something, Jigme something like that, four students he has. And then uh, uh, one of the, his students, Njigme Jari Nyoku, we call it, it passed to Njamyon uh, Chintze Wambo, then Patu Rinpoche, then Mepam Rinpoche, and then Anzam Dukpa, like that. That's, you know, just, uh, just lineage, like that, you know, and uh, many other masters. And this is how the lineage of individuals has uh, remained unbroken down to the uh, present day. So this, you know, uh, now so, so so that we can receive the blessings of this this girls and this lineage, you know, when we need to pray to them with sort of one pointed uh, devotion, then we have uh, this amazing lineages. I mean, our lineage is back to the Guru Rinpoche. It's uh, it's. That's the, the secretly, you know, how we uh, uh, receive the instruction, the, the oral instructions, transmissions from Pamasambhava himself. So, that's why we, when we guru, practice Guru Yoga, uh, we also visualize the entire lineages, right? So because of that. So Guru Yoga can be done anytime during the day, um, anytime. And many masters say that of all the practices, it is Guru Yoga that is the most important, of course, uh, with Bodhicitta, right? So. The essence of Guru Yoga is simply to remember the Guru at all the time. Uh, when you are happy, think of the Guru. When you are sad, think of the, your Guru. When you sort of uh, meet obstacles, pray to the Guru and rely on him alone all the time. When you are sort of sitting, think of the Guru, whatever you do. Uh, you know, during the day, and then also at night when you uh, you are sort of uh, going to bed and fall asleep, visualize Guru Rinpoche if you want in your heart center. It's really good for your dream too. Sitting sort of Bama uh, Sambhava on lotus, and he is sort of. Uh, um, emanating countless rays of light uh, with fi fill your sort of whole environment, melting the, the room, your bedroom, uh, the entire sort of universe into light, and then return to absorb into your heart. Then the Guru himself dissolve into light. This is the, this is the, you know, state in which you should sort of fall asleep. But come, Bamasamba will come and you will dream, you definitely you have dream about him if you do this uh, in the night time. If you I mean if you can't sleep you can repeat the uh, visualization again and say in the seven line supplication, the prayers. And when you wake up in the morning, imagine that the Guru merges from your heart and uh, 
and raises up to sit again in the you know in, in front of you above your head or whatever and kind of smelling compassionately so this is how we can remember the guru and play devotion during every activity and more important thing is uh, death right when we're going to die should death come sort of suddenly the best practice then is to blend your mind with the mind of guru i already told you that right of all the sufferings of three sort of intermediate state the most intense is the suffering of the moment of death so for this moment their practice of power or the, the, the transference of your consciousness to the Buddha fields, the practice of Guru Yoga is the most profound and essential way to do in power practice. Through Guru Yoga practice, all obstacles can be removed and all blessings received. So, <clears throat> Now I think you understand, uh, I'm sure you understand Guru Yoga, how to practice. So I kind of strongly uh, recommend that you uh, union, unite the, your mind with the mind of Guru again and again. That's very important. And visualize Guru Rinpoche and chant the um, Bajar Guru Mantra, seven line prayers. Then after sort of if you have time, every hundred mantras dissolve Guru Rinpoche into you. The more often you go through this process, uh, the, the better. So try sort of uh, um, try effecting the, the dissolution every 10 or 20 mantras, then just watch the Insupportability, you know. The key to watching mind is to mix your mind with the, with the gurus, and it is practice you can do in all sort of ordinary situations. You know, Guru Rinpoche himself said that if you have a strong faith and confidence in me, I will look on you with compassion. This is my promise. And never will sort of I uh, deceive you. So without this kind of a faith and confidence, we cannot receive any blessings. But if, you, if we pray to Guru Rinpoche with devotion, then there is nothing we cannot, you know, accomplish. I mean, I always say the faith and devotion, uh, that doesn't mean you should not misunderstand this, doesn't mean you have to have belief, you have to have faith and devotion, right? But this devotion and faith uh, based on understand about Guru Rinpoche, about his teachings, then definitely you will find some you know, reason why he is important. Why saying these things, teachings? It's not blend, blend devotion, blend fit, not good, blend devotion, blend it, not really stable, right? Go away very easily. But if you really understand, understand and you have a reason, then your devotion and fit very uh, sort of deeper and stable and, you know, Powerful. So that's why, in order to have the devotion and faith, you have to learn it about the teachings. And then you have to practice. So, what should I say? So, 
Now we are done with Guru Yoga practice. <laughs> Guru Yoga teachings. And if you still do not understand any part of the, the meditation, then just to let me know. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm very happy to have this good opportunity to teach all of you about Guru Yoga. Uh, and I think you are also very fortunate that you have the opportunity to practice. And I already told you, but it would be, you know, very good if you can make sort of a promise to practice Guru Yoga with Bodhicitta for your daily basis. And I'm sure this will not be too difficult. And uh, you might be able to recognize the nature of your mind through practice Guru Yoga with Bodhicitta. You know, very possible. I mean, many teachers did that, you know. I mean, they recognize through uh, nature mind, through practice Guru Yoga. Uh, and if you choose practice Guru Yoga, then you should practice it with Bodhicitta. That's for sure. Whatever you practice, Bodhicitta, always you need. Mm, just to keep in mind, don't forget that. And... And um, I think that's all. I hope this teaching have been sort of helpful for you a little bit. And uh, I would also like uh, it uh, if um, you can become a vegetarian at least for this month. That would be very beneficial for you and for animals and good for those uh, killers. Butchers. What? Butchers. Butchers, yep. Very good for them. Um, they will suffer, definitely. Today is Bama Sambhava's day, actually, 10th. And uh, I really appreciate that you practice with us. Uh, and uh, also, I really, uh, I would like to say thank you all of you very much. And uh, especially, uh, lovely Log, Log Logan. <laughs> That's fine. We do mystic things once every day, no problem, at least. <laughs> so thank you, uh, Kim, Jan. Actually, I already this, I already already the, the first I said right. Thank you too, but again, um, and this. Uh, we had a very nice retreat, and people really like it. And with a, this is kind of you know uh, a vacation, you know, and uh, uh, also Kit uh, works a lot. Uh, thank you very much. You did great job. Lots of beneficial, and uh, this is how we help right to others. Uh, and also Martin. Uh, Great job. Uh, lots of people understand Dharma through, uh, you know, mm, <clears throat> watching these things. And I received lots of uh, emails the, uh, from 
many different countries, even though I don't know them. Uh, so uh, great job. Thank you so much. Uh, and Mary uh, also works a lot. Uh, thank you very much. Jeremy, very good one. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Um, Jeremy Tobden, very much. Thank you very much. Good job uh, helping everything. Very good. Appreciate it. Ann helps a lot um, this time, and especially a uh, long time ago. Uh, I'm here because of, uh, because of her. Um, I have now go back and forth, no problem. Uh, and it will be very soon. I have uh, all the, uh, the freedoms and advantages, exactly whatever you have, I will, uh, you know. Yay. Well, thank you very much. And uh, Heather. Thank you. Uh, helped and Wallen Terrence. Uh, thank you very much, all of you, for coming and practice and sharing your good energies uh, and share, sharing uh, Dharma teachings, Dharma, uh, you know, activities. Uh, very nice, and I'm very happy. Uh, very, very happy. Uh, and so what else? That's all I have to say. It's, uh, uh, I really appreciate it. You practice. Uh, if you practice every day, at least 20 minutes, uh, I will be very happy. Uh, and I appreciated that. Um, and I think that's all I want to say. And after this, uh, we'll the practice Guru Yoga, uh, and then after that we need to dedicate in the merit. Also, I'm not going to uh, teach you that because you already know, right? So this is you have to. Uh, <clears throat> I just told you the first section we uh, how to dedicate to whom, how, who, you know. Uh, you have to think all that, and then how. That's the most important, and then why dedicate we need uh, because this uh, this like uh, six days retreats we uh, did good job and lots of virtuous things lots of uh, Dharma activities and so we especially this important months you know important month and we have to dedicate all that uh, uh, and uh, uh, it's very profound, and uh, our practice for five days, very profound. And you should uh, really be rejoice each other and uh, recognize that, you know. Um, five days reach it, uh, not so easy in this country, you know. So uh, we have to dedicate that, okay? Remember that, and then we'll done. Anything else? I want to announce to the teachers that we have 50,000 people. Okay, maybe uh, after mm, the dedicated. Mm -hmm. All right, now. self-manifest realm on the infinite purity, I find myself visualized as a Bajra Yogini. On my current seat a thousand parallel lotus sun and moon, and Odiyana Bajra Dara, the union of all sorts of refuge. He is white tinged with red, with a peaceful smell, Bajra skill cup and vest. 
He wears Samboga Gaya ornaments and is embarrassed by his partnerish soldier. Self rising mandalas of Tantra are perfectly present in his form. Root and lineage gurus, daginis, and the, uh, surrounded him like a part of seed split. From Chamara content come their wisdom counterparts. Into the visualized spore. In the northwest land of Odiana, and the center of blooming lotus flower, is the one with spring wonder city. The Ronan the lotus born Pamakara, surrounded by vast retinue of Daginis. Following in your footsteps, I pray. Please come and bestow your blessings. Guru Pamma Sudi Hong. Hong, in the northwest of the land of Odiana, center of bloom and lotus flower, is the one with supreme wonder city. The renowned lotus born Pamakara, surrounded by vast retinue of Daginis. Following in your footsteps, I pray. Please come and bestow your blessings. Guru Pamma Sudi Hong. Is the one with supreme wonder city, the renowned lotus born Pamakara, surrounded by vast retinue of Daginis. Following in your footsteps, I pray, please come and bestow your blessings. Guru <coughs> 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 West Land. The renowned Lord is born Pamakara, surrounded by vast retinue of Daginis. Following in your footsteps, I pray. Please come and bestow your blessings. Guru Pamma Sudi Hong. Hong in the northwest of the land of Odiana, in the center of Burman Lotus Flower, is the one with supreme wonder city. The renowned lotus born Pamakara, surrounded by vast retinue of Daginis, following in your footsteps, I pray. Please come and bestow your blessings. Guru Pamma Sudi Hong. Hong in the northwest land of Odiana, in the center of Burman lotus flower, is the one with supreme wonder city. The renowned lotus born Pamakara, surrounded by vast retinue of Daginis. Following in your footsteps, I pray. Please come and bestow your blessings. Guru Pamma Sudi Hong. Hong, in the northwest land of Odiana, the center of bloom and lotus flower, is the one with supreme wonder Sudi. The renowned lotus born Pamakara, by vast retinue of Daginis, following in your footsteps, I pray. Please come and bestow your blessings. Guru Pamma Sede Hong. Body, speech, and mind. 
comes to the continent of Jambu for the welfare of beings, surrounded by a multitude of Vidyaras and Ganyis. I supplicate the divine assembly of Padmakara. I supplicate you, Padmakara, Guru Mahoyana. Please grant me your blessings and empowerments. Three lights, the radiant white, red, and dark blue, dissolving into my three places, blessing me as they do. The Guru and his retinue then dissolve into light, traveling the path of Brahma and melting into the core of my heart. The enlightened mind of the Guru and my own indivisible. I settle into the innate nature of the Dharmakaya mind, cleansing the four obscurations and achieve all blessings and empowerments are attained. The four paths are mastered and the four kayas actualized. Om Banjangura Bama Sade Hong Om Ahom 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 Banzangara Bamaza De Hong Em Ahom Banzangara Bamaza De Hong Om 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 Ahom Banzangara Bamaza De Hong Ahom Banzangara Bamaza De Hong Om 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 Ahom Banzangara Bamaza De Hong 